Well, it looks like Donald Trump is about to betray his freaking base. And everyone in the conservative movement who still likes him, apparently. Because he wants to ban bump stocks. He wants to go ahead with Senator Dianne Feinstein to ban sem all semi-automatic weapons, which is basically including all handguns and such. And top that off, he's just really, really gunning hard for this banning on bump stops thing. And it's just... I just don't understand why he's doing this. It seems like... Well, I know why. It seems like he's wanting to advert the blame that he's getting from Park from the Parkland shooting. He's trying to basically go with all what the left is wanting to do, so that way the uh, he can advert the blame from Parkland. But he wouldn't have been able to stop Parkland. All right, if the police had actually done their damn jobs, the entire Parkland situation would have been a lot simpler. It would have been a lot. It would have been less deadly. But they fucked up. So he had a bunch of dead kids. Now, it seems like Trump is just... I mean, and Trump was doing some good things on this a while ago. He was talking with some of the parents of the kids who had died who were being shot at. He, Yeah, he was saying some good things. Like, you know, we need to arm teachers and stuff like that. We need to keep uh, kids protected. We need some security. Of course, it got shellacked for it from the left because, oh my God, he wants to militarize the schools and such. And it's just like, I don't understand why he's doing this. Like, seriously, this, is, this doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why he's doing this. He's adverting the blame for something that he would not have been able to stop. He's trying to score some political brownie points. And his base is probably going to take this one lying down. The Don't Tread on Me a meme where the uh, Gazden snake is saying, Tread harder, daddy. That's exactly what it's going to be like. And this this clip from, from freaking... Uh, <clears throat> Revenge of the Sith just basically illustrates how the, how this is going to go with his base. Normal conservatives down the drain, literally. All the hardcore people on the right who are trying to defend the NRA and constitutional gun rights, they're gonna get wrecked. All the people who are just, you know, silently out there just trying to help Trump whenever they can because they're his supporters. They're going to get screwed without realizing it. They're going to get screwed and they're going to take it lying down. Like so. All the people who lent their support to Trump are probably regretting it right now because of what he is saying. He is fucking up on a supremely, 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 supremely hard level. He just is. He's fucking this up. Okay, now, I can understand wanting to do something about Parkland, okay? I can completely understand that, okay? Like... You know, putting the armed teachers in there, that's something that I support. That's something that a lot of people around the country actually support right now is arming teachers or at least having armed security because while there's only, while a lot of schools do have security guards, there's only like 50% of them. Pretty, I think only 50% of schools don't do that. And I think, I'm pretty sure most of the schools that are end up getting being the uh, epicenter of mass shootings, they don't actually... Uh, they don't actually have armed security. You know, they're a gun-free zone. Okay, which is where most of these school shootings happen. Where most of them are successful. Alright, and it's really, really irritating to see everyone on the left just jumping on this. Trying to say, oh, it's Republicans' fault. The, the Democrats had freaking two years. Well, three years, actually. 2009, 2010, 2011. That was three years where they had complete fucking control. Not only... The House of Representatives and the Senate, but also the presidency, and they did not pass a single thing. They didn't bring a bill up onto the floor of the House or the Senate. 
and Obama never really pushed for it. But when Republicans took the House and the Senate, they all of a sudden the Democrats started saying, "Oh no, it's the Republicans' fault. They didn't do. They're they're not letting us push push through this gun control policy that we want. They're not letting us, you know, save the kids, even though we support Planned Parenthood because a um, uh, 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 policy. It's just fucking annoying. It's really goddamn annoying just to see all this bullshit." Right, a lot of this is just plain, pure, unadulterated bullshit. And Trump is just falling into this huge trap. Right, he's not only portraying his base, he's also portraying conservatives and even people on the left who actually like, who actually like gun policy. Like, actual gun policy. And it's just really irritating to me. That so many people in Trump's base are probably going to take this one lying down. All right? Almost nobody is going to say anything to Trump that remotely resembles good gun policy. Right? He's just gonna, he's just gonna do this. Then there's gonna be the supporters who are saying, "Oh, but he's got a good reason for this. He's got a good reason for that, and all this hunky dory bullshit." And you're just, and I'm just sitting here. Like, you've got to be fucking kidding me, right? You're fucking kidding me. I just... Just so many things wrong with this, and I wish I could go into more detail. I mean, there's a lot of articles out there who that are explaining this on a basic level. About why Trump is basically wrong on this, because he is. Alright. Now, the bump stock thing, I think you can get support for that because, I mean, the bump stock thing was used in Las Vegas, but it was used in Las Vegas, not Parkland, which is one of the things I hate about it when the left tries to do their gun policy subscriptions is that they want to ban absolutely everything remotely controversial, and it's like, and it's not even connected to the shooting. All right, and they'll, they'll say some, and they say some far out outlandish bullshit about certain 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 things and it's just like what in the living world of fuck and it's just extremely frustrating to me all right top that off i mean mike pence and chop that off trump said one of the outrageous most outrageous things i've ever seen any pre sitting president on gun control say he said take the guns first he was basically advocating for full gun confiscation. It's like, you know this whole thing where the left was saying Trump's literally Hitler and stuff, and now he's going to take a whole bunch of shit away? He basically just came out and said it, that he was going to freaking take people's guns away. Like it was a good thing. He basically just said, I'm going to take the guns away. He said, take the guns first, do process second. That was an exact quote. Take the guns first, due process second. I'm not making this shit up. Trump literally said this. All right, you wonder why so many people on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, and stuff like that are calling Trump a freaking nut, nutcase for saying this? Because he's acting like a freaking nutcase. All right, I know he's not exactly the most mentally stable guy when it comes to his mouth, but I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's just like he doesn't know. He just doesn't know. And it's super fucking irritating. I wish Trump would hold his tongue. Someone in his cabinet needs to rein him in, like John Kelly. Come the fuck on. And that's another thing. Trump's been fucking up almost every day for the past couple of weeks. In response to the Rob Porter stuff, I mean, the... I mean, he was super pissed off about it, but then he tried to do damage control so that way nobody in his, uh, so that way nobody in his, uh, freaking cabinet would get taken out because of it by saying, oh, but Rob Porter need to do process and we got to take that and we got to do all that stuff. Even though there is evidence that the guy freaking abused two of his ex-wives. All right. And now Trump. While he was doing good on this to start with, has completely fucked this entire situation up. He has fucked it up. Basically, 
giving in to the Parkland kids who have no idea what in the living world of fuck they're talking about. He's basically giving in to them just to score some political points. All right. Trump has screwed up majorly. All right. And this is going to mess up any support that he gets in 2020. All right. On just one issue alone, okay? Gun control is a losing issue for any politician who's for gun control. If you were for gun co mass gun po confiscation, good luck trying to get a good ballot in the presidential elections. Good luck trying to get a good ballot in the goddamn Senate, even even in a blue state. All right, Diane Feinstein, for example, she's not getting a re her re-election bid is not getting support from California Democrats. All right, and she's been outlandish on gun control for years. She literally said on national television in the 1980s, if I could confiscate every weapon in the gun, every gun in the freaking country, she would do it. Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. Alright, I am not making this shit up. And they're, alright, and she's been lambasted for years about not knowing anything about gun policy. Even though she herself has said that she has tried to use guns for self-defense too, because when her husband got, sh when her husband got shot, she was afraid that whoever was going to, come for her her cover came for him or was gonna come for her yet but yet that's what a lot of people in the country feel like all right and this whole thing about freaking raising the uh, buying age for guns from 18 to 21 that's insanity that is complete insanity okay they're 20 all right the city is one of the most dangerous places in the country and yet They want to raise the limit on how on buying a gun for the, the self defense, man. Like, dude, 18, 20, 18, that is adult. That is considered adult. All right, that is voting. That is serving in the goddamn military for crying out loud. And yet, they're like, oh no, we need to, just because this fucking dumbass shooter in freaking Parkland got a gun and he was 18. Even though there was supreme, supreme amounts of time that could have been dedicated to taking that dude's guns, but wasn't because the goddamn Sheriff Scott Israel's a goddamn moron. We got, apparently we got to take everybody else's constitutional rights away. All right, Trump is giving in to these Parkland kids, all right? And these Parkland kids have no idea what in the living world of God they are talking about. They never have. Okay, and one of the kids, David Hogg, he was a huge, huge proponent of gun control before then. All right, he's just using this to score political points, to make himself basically a famous nut job. All right, because I'm telling you, he just doesn't know a single thing about guns in the United States. All right, guns have been on a, gun crime has been on an increasing decline for years. All right, and you're going to come out and tell me that you're dying in the goddamn streets and that you need President Trump to do something even though he, none of these laws you're proposing would have stopped the goddamn shooting? Alright, you really want to propose mass gun confiscation? You really want to piss off more than half the goddamn country? Alright, if anything, the leftists should be freaking ecstatic about this. Because now they finally get to claim Donald Trump's literally Hitler. Now they get to say, oh, he's wanting to take away all your guns. Come support us and shit. That's exactly what they're going to... That's that's, if they're smart, that's what they're going to say. I mean, seriously. If, if, if he was smart, that's what... If they were smart, that's what they would say. But they're not going to say that because they're probably going to end up supporting him anyway. But then again... But the entire polarization process of American politics at this point... I also kind of doubt it. They'll probably try to even go for the centrist position of, you know, stop trying to take everybody's fucking guns. All right, like I said, if they're smart, they're going to do that. If they're smart, they're actually going to do stuff like that. But they're probably going to take this as an opportunity to basically take everybody's guns away. That's exactly what they're going to do. Exactly what they're going to do. All right, just Trump. Trump's just fallen into this huge ass political trap. All right, he's going to alienate, he alienated me. I mean, just on this position alone, he's alienated me. All right, and I, 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 and I like I said, I don't support the guy. I don't, I've never been a Trump supporter, except maybe when he first came in, I was like, ah, uh, he's maybe, he's a little different, so maybe. 
Like, if Ted Cruz didn't make it in the first couple rounds, I would have gone with Trump. But Ted Cruz made it almost to the end, and he ended up getting screwed. So, I mean, I didn't even end up supporting Trump in the freaking presidential election up until the last minute. So, it's just... just this whole situation is just shit. Alright, Trump should know better. All right, he campaigned with the NRA. He's basically fucking over the NRA too. He said he basically also said in an interview that he would he would take a let the NRA take a back seat, which is probably making David Hogg uh, laugh his balls off right now. Like just, I mean, it's just it's just it's some bullshit. It is some it is some bullshit. This this entire thing with Trump now basically want taking. His left position. All right, and I also saw this. Uh, I also saw this Twitter post about how uh, in the general elect we were told in the general election if we didn't support Trump, we were going to have a New Yorker who was going to try to take all of our guns away. And now he's just like, I don't even why, why even bother anymore. I mean, seriously, Trump's a New Yorker, Hillary's a New Yorker, and they both wanted to take your guns away. All right, this is going to kill Trump politically. This really is. This is, gonna, this is probably the make it or break mo moment for Trump. All right, he has to change his position quickly or he is going to suffer. All right, he, Trump is going to suffer hard. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed this video this rant this is i'm just i mean this is just crazy this is this whole thing is just crazy it's, it's just it's just it's just bad it is just yeah well fuck it